Hello. In, the, in our last tool tip about handling markup while translating, we saw um, how you can apply markup by means of keyboard shortcuts. Um, and now we are going to see one more method to apply markup, um, to which you might resort if you ever forget the shortcut mentioned in that other tool tip, which was, just for the sake of reminder, uh, it was console plus the IT number. So if you ever forget or don't bother to ask, you can use this other method that I'm going to, that I'm going to explain now. This method is graphical, but you will see that it's much less practical than pressing a single shortcut. So, uh, for example, in segment 3035, um, there are three markup, out of which um, the point markups have been already inserted manually. So let's activate the markup assignment mode to illustrate how it is used. So we go to menu processing and I press the button on in the markup assignment section. When I press that button I see that um, some markup is selected automatically. Um, this is already assigned so I just need to move on. Go to next markup. Here Transit um, knows that mode avion is the string that must um, have the markup number two because this markup was already applied earlier. Um, so the text is already selected for us automatically and I just need to press the button assign and next. However, imagine it wasn't selected automatically and you need to um, um, select it yourself manually. Then you just select the text and then go to the button assign and next. And the next um, section where some markup should be applied is selected. This third markup, number three, was already inserted, so there's no need to do anything else. I just can confirm the segment. And now I go to the next segment, and, and the same thing happens. If I start translating, I don't need to finish the translation to to do the same thing as before. I select the text mode avion and press assign in next. So um, the text that is going to receive the markup needs to be selected and then you need you need to press the button assign in next and that's it so you see this method is also easy but it takes a bit longer so i think it's worthy um, memorizing a simple shortcut control plus markup id or just make a brief note on your desktop so you can see um, the the most used uh, shortcuts. In case you find it useful, you can check the list of keyboard shortcuts in section 6.5.3, inserting and copying markups during translation from uh, the Transit Next user guide. So thank you very much for your attention and see you in the next tooltip.